In front of me, I have top rated Korean makeup. We have a full face. Let's begin with the base makeup. For the primer, we're gonna go in with this one. And this is by Touch and Soul. I think it's how, the, how I pronounce it. Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Primer, retailing for $15.50 on Amazon. This one has high reviews. So this is a smoothing and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. Ooh, I like the top secret part. That's cute. We know the drill, half of the face, we'll see if, they, if it makes a difference. Ooh, it's very liquid actually. I'm not gonna use the full pump. Wow, that's very liquidy. It's almost kind of like a serum, but a little thicker. So let's do, let's do right side. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, that's very blurring. It's very soft, it's very smoothing, and it's very instant the way it works. Okay, let's move on to the foundation. This is by Amore Pacific, and this is their contr Color Control Cushion Compact Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus Sunscreen. Weightless, buildable coverage, effortless perfection. And I got shade 102 light pink, and this retails for $60. This has a lot of reviews, and it has some kind of L Genius Award. Wow. L Best of Beauty, and it's a patented air cushion technology that changed the face of beauty. You do get uh, another refillable foundation, which is really nice, especially for the price, you know? And then you get the compact right here. And then you open this up, and you get the foundation right inside. So what they say is take the little puff and you press it into the moistened sponge filled with product and then you pat it on your face to create coverage and just a flawless perfection, luminous finish. Yep, it's definitely filled with product. Let's go with the non-primer side. Ooh, it's wet and like sticky. Yeah, the color is not bad. I feel like it's definitely going towards yellow slash orange, but it's really interesting how it's like grippy. And I don't have like a really gripping moisturizer underneath. But wow, that was really easy. Like really effortless, like they were saying. I feel like it gave a good solid medium coverage. I can still see my face underneath, but it just kind of evened everything out. Wow, that's really pretty. I can't stop looking at that finish. And it has a very beautiful luminous glow, but you don't look oily. All right, let's do the right side. Ooh, I feel like this one is even a little more grippier. Wait, hold on. This product does have a scent to it, but I was telling them it smells kind of like a rich lady. You explained it actually a lot more precise. I said it kind of smells like an older woman from head to toe, she's wearing Dior Chanel YSL. And then when she looks at you and she comes close to give you a hug, this is what her face smells like. <laughs> okay, honestly, this is stunning. This is so beautiful. I feel like this is what my skin should look like all the time without makeup. Wow, this is beautiful. I love how easy the application is. I thought it was gonna be a little more tedious. It's really not. I like that it goes really easy around the nose. You just pat it in around the eyes. If you want a little more coverage around the eyes, around the eyebrows, basically in all the areas, in your hairline. I do see a little bit of a difference from the right to the left side, primer, no primer. I feel like the cheeks area right here where the pores are, it's a little more smooth, more airbrushed, but they look from far away, very similar. I feel like if I didn't even tell you I had primer on, you wouldn't notice. All right, let's move on to eyebrows. I have two products. So this one is by Etude House. This is their Drawing Eye Brow in shade Light Brown. And this retails for $3.95. Wow, that's really nice. And then the next brow pencil or brow product we have is by Aesthetica. This is their Brow Sculpting Duo in True Blonde retailing for $12.99. So let's go for this one right here first, and then we'll see if maybe we can use this to kind of fill it in a little bit more. We don't have a spoolie on this besides the gel, so I'm just gonna use this spoolie to brush up these hairs. It looks like it's gripping the pigment to my brows. 
And again, I can't really be too precise with this type of a f uh, shape pencil. The formula is creamy, but stiff, which is really good. Let's go in with the clear gel on top. Looks like it's somewhat sticky. It's a little too liquidy. Moving on to concealer. We're testing Etude House. This is their Big Cover Concealer Skin Fit Pro. Two shades, light vanilla and neutral vanilla. Each retail for $10. Let's just go for both of them. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna start off very slow and work our way up because that looks really bright. Now let's take the NO3 shade. This one has, like I said, more of a neutral peachy undertone, but still very bright, wow. Okay, it seems like it's easy to blend out and I'm barely trying, honestly. It's definitely a nice full coverage concealer. Okay, so you definitely have playing time. The concealer doesn't set right away, which is good. But I'm just curious, is it actually going to set or is it just gonna do its thing and just move around underneath the eye? Very gently. Yeah, it definitely has a really sticky feeling. So let's let's set the skin and I am going to use, I have two setting powders, Vanilla Co. I think that's how you pronounce the brand name. This is their hydrating finishing powder and we got the matte finish as well, each retailing for $22. So this is for makeup, sebum and pore controller for silky smooth complexion for beautiful makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna work it into the sponge. All right, I'm not loving this powder. I feel like it's caking the concealer underneath right away. So let's go on to the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow palette, we'll be playing with Clio. Their Pro Eye Palette into Lace. Oh, and this also retails for, whoa, $29.98. Hopefully this will be good quality. We'll take this shade right here, the lightest shade in the palette, and I'll put that all over the lid. And wow, that's very pigmented. Very creamy. Just kind of want to neutralize the eyes. And it's also like a very softly packed eyeshadow, so it does have quite a bit of fallout. We're just gonna make our way down. Let's go in with this shade right here. Yeah, see? Look at the fallout on that. Oh yeah, whew! Look at all of that fallout on the bottom. And I'm barely pressing it. Not as much pigment as I thought there would be. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here, the one in the center, and put that all over the lid. That's quite disappointing. That to that. So I feel like I'm gonna just sit here and build this product up on my eyes. All right, I'm just gonna take that same brush, just flip it around, that same shade, and start on the lower lash line. Then we're gonna take the second darkest shade. This one I think has a little bit more of a red undertone versus the one in the center, it's more neutral. Let's see if this packs a punch. Nope. This is really disappointing. Let's take the darkest shade in the palette. You know what, let's put this all over the lid. Like they look pretty, but then once you start blending, they just literally disappear. Glitter slightly better, but again, very little payoff. For eyeliner, we're gonna play with this Tony Moly. It's just gel eyeliner in brown, and it retails for $14.50. And this has like a, a dome, not dome, it has a round applicator, which is nice. I wanna see how easy it is to work with. Ooh, okay. Very creamy. Okay, let's see, I didn't get too much just in case. This is a very tiny little brush. Ooh. Okay. I can vibe with this. The applicator is not bad. Keeping its shape. I just don't know how fast this eyeliner sets. I'm gonna start off slow, and then I can always just build up if I need to. Wow, okay. You can still smoke it out. You can be really precise with it. You do have to go in back in quite a bit, but I'm actually okay with that just because I can be a little more precise with it. And it looks like if I'm going over certain spots, it's not picking up the product underneath. It's really just making it nice and dark and more opaque. For mascara, Jackie found this right here, also by Etude House. This one is their Lash Perm Curl Fix Mascara, and this is their Long Lash Primer, retailing for $11.98. And then we have the mascara. This is their Lash Perm Curl Fix Mascara in black, 
also says 24 hours. Should I do the one side also, primer side? So here is the primer and that's the mascara. Is this a primer or is this mascara? Cause this is black. Oh, okay, maybe that is the primer because the wands are completely different. Ooh, okay, there's a ton of product on here. But you have a nice curved wand where the bristles get nice and short towards the very end. Okay, so I guess maybe this is the primer, but it's black. And this is more of like nylon bristles. So let's put this on the right eye and then we'll just do the mascara on the left eye with mascara on the right eye. I'm not really seeing the primer on the lashes. Maybe a little bit here and there. It's not like the typical white primer. I'm gonna let it get tacky a little bit and go straight to the mascara on my left eye since we're not doing the primer on there. Make sure I get most of this product or this mascara off of the wand right here. Oh yeah, this is definitely waterproof formula. You can see how waxy it looks. It does look and feel quite heavy on the lashes, even with that tiny bit of product. It's not building up the product as well as I thought it would. It's separating the lashes pretty good, but it looks like I barely have any mascara on my lashes, which is a shame. Let's go with the mascara on the primer side. Oh yeah, you can see a huge difference right away. Kind of just clings onto the lashes, but it's making my lashes go just straight. It doesn't lift them. It's not curling them just because the formula is so heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. This is a hard no for me for mascara. All right, so to set my face before I move on to bronzer and blush and highlight, since all of those are powders, I honestly kind of want to mix the hydrating and matte powder because I don't want to look too matte. I still want to look healthy and glowy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and then my hydrating one. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush instead of that puff. Just ever so slightly set my face. Well, that looks nice. It's set, but it's not too matte. For bronzer, we have this Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin Shading, and this retails for $26. I'm just gonna mix the three shades together on a big fluffy bronzer brush. Looks like it's a forgiving bronzer. The shade is actually quite nice. I think it's like a nice little contour shadow looking. It's not stark. And it blended really easily. I feel like I didn't have to try, except I tried a little bit to get more pigment onto the face. For blush, we have another Etude House. This is their lovely cookie blusher. How sweet is this? And this retails for $9.98. Comes with a super cute little powder. Ooh, a little powder puff. And then that's the blush. <laughs> really intense. Again, I'm gonna start off slow and then build my way up just because it does look really elect okay, electric neon. I mean, I barely had anything on there and Wow. Well, this is the opposite of the bronzer. Do you see, like, there's nothing on there. At least it's putting all of the pigment onto the cheeks instead of like soaking into the sponge the applicator. For highlighter, we picked up this brand Clio. This is their Prism Air highlighter and blusher <laughs> in shade Gold Sheer. And this retails for $22.99. It's a very subtle highlighter. But what I'm noticing about this highlighter it's not really exaggerating anything. I'm not really liking it as much. I feel like it looks like chunks of glitter on my face. It's not really like sticking to my skin. It's really pretty though, I like the shade. It's quite nice. For lipstick, we have this brand Peri Para Ink, Airy Velvet Lipstick. We have two shades, Bestie Pink and the Naturally Healthy, each retailing for $11. They're almost the exact same. Let's swatch Bestie Pink first. Ooh, the texture is quite nice. Hmm. This one's a little darker, number four, so let's go with this one on the outer and then put this in the center. Next, we have a lip tint. It's skin colorable draw tint. Bestie Duo, and then we have Retro Nude, and each retail for $12. Was this also 12 bucks? So we're gonna go with this one. One of these retail for $12, and just apply it right on top. All done with the makeup, and it's it came together pretty well. I'm quite happy with it, not excited about it, but I am excited about several products. One thing, definitely these lip tints, they're beautiful. Formula is really intriguing. It feels really thick when you swatch it and it looks really thick, but when you apply it to the lips, it's like a really soft velvet airbrushed look. Then the blush and the bronzer, beautiful. 
Bronzer is a little bit, like you have to kind of work at it, but I think the color payoff is, is really stunning and really easy to blend. And then this blush is really cute, extremely pigmented. And I did use their little applicator and I think it did a really good job. And then moving on to the eyeliner, really impressed with this eyeliner. I'm really excited to keep playing with it. The next honorable mention I kind of want to say is the concealer. It's a beautiful concealer. I'm definitely going to keep playing with this and try it out with different powders or even try it on its own without setting it and really see how I like that. But first impression, a little goes a long way. And I think it did a really beautiful job. It blended out really easily. And then the last honorable mention is definitely the foundation. I really like this. I think it gave a beautiful finish on my skin. The color is actually quite nice. Even my molds look, and sometimes they look cakey and they just look really weird and gray. But with this, I don't know, for some reason it looks really nice. But otherwise, I'm excited to see how this all wears. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Doing the first check-in before dinner, early dinner. And I feel like the makeup still looks pretty good. I did kind of clean up a little bit under the eyes. I think just that concealer, it's so sticky. It just doesn't really set. I feel like I would have to bake it if that makes sense. But everything else still feels pretty good. Emra agrees. I think everything looks pretty nice. Doing the last and final update for top rated Korean makeup. And I'm definitely looking quite shiny and not as even all over the face. You can see right here, my redness is peeking through quite a bit. Or right here, the foundation's off from like mask wearing. My lips are pretty much gone, like the lip color is gone. Um, mascara is still on. It definitely has been flaking. I have glitter all over right here. So this glitter is transferring down. Only thing that honestly just didn't move or budge whatsoever is the eyeliner. This eyeliner, it's probably one of my favorite finds from this entire line. But the eyeshadow, still not impressed with it. The only thing I do wanna say, it didn't smudge as much as I, not smudge, it didn't crease as much as I thought it would, but it definitely creased in the inner corners right here and right here. And then of course, the color payoff is very minimal. The next thing, the blush, I think it's beautiful. I still see a little bit of it right here. I still see a little bit of that bronzer. And then the primer side, I'm not really seeing a huge difference. Mm, I don't know, like it didn't extend the longevity for the cushion foundation with the primer. And honestly, I feel like I like it without the primer on this side more. It's looking like my skin more, the way it's moving with my skin, it's a little more melted into my skin, not as crackly, even like right here underneath my eyes and around my nose, it looks like it's cracking more than anything. And right here is just kind of moving with my face, if that makes any sense. I, I think my least favorite part of my face is my forehead. I feel like all my lines are super exaggerated. For longevity, this cushion foundation is not great. I'm gonna keep playing with it, maybe try different primers, try it on its own, try it with different moisturizer underneath because I do really like how this looks on my skin for the first five, six hours. But again, maybe it's just, it's not a long wearing foundation. I'm totally fine with that. So overall, I think there's so many great products and I think a lot of these, I like the price, they're not too expensive but my favorite was the eyeliner and I didn't think this was gonna be my favorite thing. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know some of your favorite Korean brands and Korean makeup. But for now, I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.